I know it's gonna hurt so bad when I put it on, it's gonna be so tight. Don't turn off the video. And we have not been arguing. my big cup of tea it says mom goals anybody else boil tea until it's deathly hot and then wait 15 minutes for it to get mediocre cold <laughs> anyway i got my chamomile and lemon from target if you're interested and i'm going to treat myself with a piece of lily's dark chocolate this is very clean with no added sugar so check it out but I need these two things to get me through this. I love this planner. It was a recommendation by my friend Tiffany. It's called the Passion Planner. And when I tell you, you are prompted to really think about a lot of things when you are writing in this planner. So not only does it have the 30 minute slots, that's a horrible page for me to open to. It, it looks like I did nothing. I do a lot. Um, not only does it have the 30 minute appointment slots, which I love because you could really, really, really break down your day if you needed to. But at the end of every month, it has these reflection pages where I'll go to a blank one so you don't see my reflection. So it has these reflection pages where it really asks you some amazing questions. What was the most memorable part of the month? Who um, or what are you especially grateful for this past month? name three things that you can improve on next month and I really love going through that before I really plan out the following month sometimes I go through it randomly if I didn't plan it out so plan March with me <laughs> or plan this week with me because sometimes I cannot plan much further than that but before we do that let's reflect so February reflection what was the most memorable part of this past month and describe it Sometimes I can't really describe it. All I wrote is I bought a house, a whole house. That's all I wrote down because I can't describe the feeling. I still don't know because I'm still in here. Um, <laughs> I'm still here, so I really can't describe it. Uh, I feel accomplished if that is the description. I feel accomplished. I feel proud. I feel excited. Maybe I should write that. Accomplished. Proud. And excited uh, what are th the three biggest lessons you've learned in the last month see this is when I don't want to read out loud to you <laughs> so I'm working on speaking about the a word I feel like it's just a trigger word right now it's a popular word like remember when everyone was like oh my energy is off and you know uh, but I really am working on that with my therapist and one of the things that we've work through is that it wastes a lot of time and it's true I waste a lot of time I am naturally a procrastinator and the procrastination really stems from being anxious uh, I think about all of the what-ifs and the horrible what-ifs everything but the sky falling is what I think about and it really debilitates my next steps so I've learned that it wastes time I don't know if I'm ready to implement that teaching Secondly, working together in marriage creates peace, like duh, but I put it there because through January and through February, we've been working together and we have not been arguing. Can't say the same about March, but, <laughs> but this is February's reflection, okay? All right, next is celebrations can be small, big wins will soon be celebrated. My daughter's birthday was in February and I did nothing. I sent out a text. I sent out a text with a photo that we took, a little like mini photo shoot that we took of her, my camera at my friend's apartment complex. And then I took her out to eat with whoever I was with that day. And I didn't do a big celebration because I knew I wanted to move. And that was the big win. And now we can really celebrate. All of her parties about to be fire at our house, like amazing. <laughs> so three, four, five, six, it's all gonna be at our house. <laughs> so those are my three lessons. What did you accomplish over the last month? I've gone to the gym five times every week, except for the last week of February. So three out of the four weeks I went five times. And that's a huge accomplishment because there were mornings. There were seven degree mornings. There were some mornings. Even this morning it was snowing and I still said, I'm getting up. So that didn't go yesterday. 
Um, and of course, home ownership. That's something else I accomplished through the month of February because I closed on the 28th. I'm trying not to sing on here <laughs> so you don't turn off the video. And I uh, was more consistent with YouTube. And here I am again and again and again. Who or what are you grateful for? I, I listed my people, especially my realtor, my husband, my friends that were part of this process. My son, I put my son, he's eight. You gotta thank the kids. This morning on the radio that uh, I was listening to after dropping the children off, a mom called in just talking about how she really feels bad about the way she spoke to her daughter this morning before dropping her to school. And one of the hosts, just said, go home and apologize when you when you see her again. And it was so crazy to me that people still aren't apologizing to their children. Maybe because of my own childhood, I know that children need apologies. And I'm constantly apologizing to him. I feel like sometimes Mason is manipulating these apologies. However, apologizing is something I'm never going to skip over. And I bring that up because through the month, not only did I apologize to him, he in turn reflected on his behavior and was very apologetic when necessary or reflective when necessary. And, you know, just his growth makes me grateful for him. And my therapist, because we really worked in February, we really worked and um, we had some breakthroughs. So now it makes me think about what I'm planning for the month of March. This month, I definitely have to pack and move. I've already taken down the things off the walls. So there's nothing on the walls in my house. I'm going to be taking a trip to Maryland and then another, and then a final trip. So two more trips. Uh, I'm going to be scheduling all of my uh, doctor's appointments because I want to really explore and do a little more research on who's out in Maryland before I just connect with them. So I'm going to do my doctor's appointments here knowing that uh, it'll give me time before I need to see doctors again. So I'm going to go to my PCP, my dentist. I just went in January, but um, I think my Invisalign retainer for the top is ready because I, I think Emory threw it in the garbage. I have the bottom. The top hasn't been seen in months and I know it's going to hurt so bad when I put it on. It's going to be so tight. Maybe I'm going to skip that appointment. Uh, I need to go to the gynecologist and fill figure out this birth control situation because I have to. I'm done. However, uh, I want to make sure I am really done. And full disclosure, I intended on getting an IUD, but uh, my fibroids are in the way of where the IUD should be implanted. So I had to opt for birth control pills like I'm 16 years old. TMI? <laughs> like I'm a young adult. And they're just not sitting right with me. Having to remember to take it every day and the side effects. I want to figure out what my other options are. And then Joy Wade brought this up. I really enjoyed her video about planning the following month. And uh, she said she needs to go see her chiropractor. And when she said that, I felt it all through my body. I went to the chiropractor probably the very beginning of, of the winter and as she said it i can feel the tightness i can feel the inflexibility of moving my neck <laughs> and so it's time so i'm going to schedule my appointments i'm going to keep up with my health and nutrition continue that five day a week streak i'm saying four days a week actually because as long as i do four i still feel good at a time three three days made me feel okay but i'm at the point where five days makes me feel great so I'm going to opt for four and leave room for error and whatever might come up. Continue clean eating like I am. Continue to speak to you guys here on YouTube. I enjoy the feedback. Comment, subscribe, like. I usually don't say that, but um, I really have been enjoying the feedback. So thank you for that. I need to do my taxes <laughs> before I leave, especially because I'm going to need that money to pay some bills. Uh, I need to turn on the utilities. They have Baltimore Gas and Electric, and this is probably going to be the first time in my life that I need a security system. I've lived in the center of Flatbush, Brooklyn, never had a security system here. I think our door just slams to close, so 
this is going to be something new. I need to register the children for school out there. And I need to follow up on my LCSW. This morning, I went ahead and put the last set of hours. That's what this is that fell out of my planner. The last set of hours in the mail so that the state of New York can receive it and approve me to take my licensed clinical social worker exam so that I can provide therapy to you guys and charge lots of money like everybody else and be rich and possibly not work a nine to five anymore so if you can continue to encourage me i will appreciate that okay okay anyway let me know what your march goals are i would truly appreciate it maybe it'll encourage me to continue mine and it might be something that i missed on my list anyway over and out